It was an extraordinary game. I think it was an incredible performance uh, from the players and from our people. The atmosphere that we generated in the stadium is the best I've seen this season. We demanded that we had to go to a different level and connect it again to the demands that this league has in every game. And they have responded in an unbelievable way. And I think the players left absolutely everything. They put their heart, their soul in every single ball. And I cannot be any prouder because I know how difficult it is to beat this team, how much you have to suffer, all the preparation, and, and how much they have to process to try to, to do what we've done today on the pitch. So, big thank you. Nick, please. Hi, Nick. I think you said on Friday about winning ugly or scoring scrappy goals. Was that an ugly win? I was all trained. I told you that I didn't know, but I knew how to train this. Uh, you have to, we consider that really poor one as well, that's the reality, and, and that really affected us. The dressing room was really touched at halftime, and uh, I could sense it because we deserved much better after the first half that we had. But you cannot feel sorry for yourself against this team because they're going to punish you. And we reacted really well after 10, 15 minutes where you suffered, and then we grabbed the game, we control it, we modify a few things, and, and we give ourselves the big chance to win the game. Michael, a month ago, the team maybe looked a bit fatigued, whereas now, in a game like that, you've been flying uh, with a run in, it's just the Champions League. And I, I mean, does it feel different in the place? Is, is there much more energy? Yeah, it does because winning helps, and as well, obviously, the, the schedule that we had prior to Christmas, the amount of players that played so many minutes, uh, we were some injuries, and, uh, and we needed to recharge. And uh, now we've got some momentum back, three wins in a row in a really convincing way, the team performing really well, and we have to go for it. It's, the whole season is now ahead of us. We need players back because now we have again a few injuries, and, and that's a big concern that I have. You know, availability of the squad, we have everybody fit, training, and available, we have a good chance. Jordan, sorry. Okay, well, um, you spoke on Friday about wanting your players to show how they react to bad moments, yeah. conceding goals, to missing chances. Do you think this team now has an elite mentality, one you need when you're going for a title, to get through these moments? Absolutely, we have shown that today. The thing is that to be the best and have the best mentality, you have to do it every three days. And that's the challenge that we have. Uh, certainly we show that today, uh, especially against, in my opinion, now the most informed team in Europe. And, uh, and now we have to do it. Tomorrow when we train, the next day against West Ham, and continue because when we have that, that body language, that attitude, that energy in the team, it, uh, we are a really difficult team to beat. Sam, Hi, was, was that Kami Martinelli at his best today? I think he looks again really confident, really sharp. He was a real threat um, today, not only for the goal that he scored and how intuitive and cheeky and streetwise he was to, to, to do what he did. Um, but as well, the other ones, Leo, I think Kai was unbelievable as well playing as a nine because it was a game that I thought it was going to fit him. The same with Georgie. Uh, you need big performances to, to beat uh, these kind of teams, and I thought all of them were at their best today. And just quickly on, on Gavin Jesus and Zinchenko. Yeah. With Gabi, we expect to be something um, about days. And with Alex, we don't know because he had some feeling in his calf again and we had to take him off. So. Amy from Athletic. Hi, Mikhail. Hi. There's been quite a lot of talk about trying to evolve to be more of a control team this season. Do you feel a bit like you talked about being cheeky and intuitive with Martinelli? Is there a kind of chaos and energy that this team actually needs? Yeah, control is not really a word that I like. I like dominance and and don't allow in teams to breathe more than control and especially in which part of the the pitch that happens that's the most important thing in my opinion but we can be very chaotic in open spaces we can create a lot of issues playing in different ways and and that's another weapon that we have can i just ask you quickly about half time and how you handled that it must have been really challenging to sort of feel so deflated for everybody and how mm. to get that belief back again. Yeah, yeah, because the energy shift is in, in this game and uh, and you have you win two or three duels and you can feel the people are more confident, the crowd is going, you lose them, they start to run at you and jump and they are a bit scared. So to, to manage that emotional state is really important and uh, and we had to do it and we talk, listen, you want to beat them, we're going to suffer. It's going to be moments that we're going to have to deal with things that are going to make it really uncomfortable and we are not really used to it. But they're going to take you to that game and then we have to navigate through that to win it and I think today we made another step on that. Nick from the Guardian. Hi, 
Hi. Um, just checking on uh, Bakayo Saka. He obviously came up early. Looked like he got a couple of silver ones. How's he doing? He should be fine, I think. He's got a, a kick, I think, on, on the ankle or on the back of his foot, but uh, he should be fine. And just quickly on, on the title race, um, I know we ask every week, but the difference between two points and eight points off is, yeah. is very different, is, is very big. Yeah. Have we got a title race now? Is that on? Well, we are there, that's for sure, and uh, and we want to continue to be there. And I think we've been really consistent the whole season. If not, you're not where we are today. Um, our game is game by game. Again, the availability of the squad is going to be crucial. Um, and we have learned that from last season. Uh, so let's try to make that happen. David Day from Casa de Hi. I wanted to ask you about Jorginho, the choice to play him from the beginning and what he gave you on the pitch. Yeah, it's the game that that I had in my mind, that I was imagining, and um, and how much, in my opinion, we were going to need them. And it's a team that doesn't really allow you to put the fifth player in in that front line the way they play. And and George is a, is a really intelligent player. His biggest quality is that he makes the people around him better. He connects everybody, and it was it was unbelievable. I think it was man of the match. Okay, finally to James from CBS. Just picking up on that, could you reflect on the qualities of a player coming in? For about his first start in a month, he was in play yeah. twice, started twice since November. Yeah. How valuable is he to you off the pitch and then on the pitch? Unbelievable. Yeah. I always tell that he's an example, he's a role model. Um, he's been in a lot of pain as well because he has an issue that he's been carrying for months. He didn't want to stop, he's been playing with that. He's been training, always the first one in, last one out. Um, and for all the kids, for everybody at the club, if you want to. Look in the mirror to somebody, just look at him and how he says he's won everything, but you ask him not to play or to play one minute last week, he's happy to go there, and you ask him to play 98 minutes at that rhythm, and he's able to do that. So I'm really lucky to have players like this. Okay, thanks everyone. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.